The mask malware is believed to be one of the most sophisticated APT campaigns to date. Since 2007, the mask APT campaign has been observed in 31 countries, targeting a broad range of organizations. Its payload has been designed to steal documents, encryption keys and certificates, SSH keys and RDP files. Let's review the mask campaign to better understand how the trust in keys and certificates continue to be exploited by cybercriminals. As part of the mask campaign, phishing emails were sent to victims. When victims clicked on the embedded links in the emails, they were directed to malicious websites that hosted the mask malware. The malicious websites had common subdomains like The Guardian and Washington Post with replicated data from the real sites as not to raise too much suspicion. Victims would not have noticed the fake subdomains as the full domains would have been truncated by the browser. Only by scrolling to view the entire URL would a victim have noticed the malicious domain. To minimize the chance of detection, the mask malware was digitally signed with a valid certificate since 2010 for a fake company. This is a common tactic that cybercriminals employ, tricking certificate authorities into issuing certificates for fake organizations, the certificates which are then used in campaigns such as this one. In addition to being digitally signed, the mask malware encrypts its communication back to the command and control using SSL. The stolen documents, encryption keys and certificates, SSH keys and RDP files are all encrypted before being sent to the command and control over encrypted channel like HTTPS. Using the stolen SSH keys, the attackers have direct access to the victim's machines over SSH and are able to issue any shell command they like because of the elevated privileges SSH provides. The mask malware shows just how powerful the exploitation of keys and certificates has become for cybercriminals. Most organizations are unable to detect these types of attacks and cannot respond.